kill you. Like, oh, oh, boy. Yeah, it'll make you shit yourself. If you have, like, one beer, would it, like, wreck you for a day? Well, you think about if you drink lots of alcohol, it, it'll ruin you. But if you drink yeah. lots of alcohol that you're not supposed to be yeah. drinking. So, so, yeah. so, it's like, so, it's, yeah, it's drinking, drinking a beer full of poison. <laughs> so drinking poison full of poison. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Hey, and welcome back to Beer Babies, my beer babes. We are so happy to have you back. We are smashing out this podcast. We are actually in the middle of a little gluten-free um, dalliance, um, a bit of a gluten-free special, a gluten-free extravaganza. But I could not do that without my usual ho- my usual co-host. I've got Billy. I'm Billy. I like a lot of beer. i got Declan. I'm Declan. I don't like any beer. And the gluten-free expert himself, we got Jack Quigley. Jack, how's it going? It's going well, thank you. Yeah, so very good. We're actually back um, for another round um, because last week we sampled um, two different types of gluten-free beers. We had we started with the Pale Ale by Two, two Bays, and um, we actually put it up against the Little Rivers Pale Ale, um, which was a lot of fun. Um, it was good. Yeah, that, that it sounded good. Um, and then we um, we also tried a draft. Um, so we had the uh, two bays gluten free beer draft, and we also had the classic draft, Bogues draft. Um, Bloody Bogues, mate. <laughs> it was it was actually really interesting to try those before because um, Jack, you'd only ever tried uh, the two bays pale ale. Mm. Um, and so the draft was new, which was really fun. And it was really interesting to see you experience a draft for the first time. Yeah, I finished it off camera and it, it did get worse <laughs> yeah. as it got hotter. But it was a good experience and yeah, I, I did like it. Yeah, it was yeah. really good. Yeah, that's great. I um, I love that this episode's not even about drafts and we can still get a dig in. It's, mm. it's really good. <laughs> if you haven't watched last week's episode, I would... Definitely recommend it. Go back and check it out, um, and then jump back to this one. Uh, you know, you could even you could watch this one all the way to the end. Go back and watch the other one, then watch this one again. You know, get those plays up, get those numbers up, get our watch hours. Um, Pump it up, baby! Uh, exactly. Um, so today, I I've got something that I hope is going to be the most exciting. I was really looking forward to this because this is actually my favorite type of beer at the minute. What I got is the Two Bays Stargaze Hazy Pale Ale. Um, hazies are my favorite um, favorite type of beer at the minute. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about hazies in general, but I'm really, really looking forward to this. So, Deck, why don't you pour this out and I'll tell you guys just a little bit about hazies. So, um, this is uh, from Two Bays website. They say that um, this is Australia's first gluten-free hazy. This a uh, this hazy fruit bomb um, enjoys big tropical aromas and an explosion of pineapple flavor. It's a juicy, punchy pale ale showcasing new world hops. Ooh. Oh, man, that smells good. It smells like fruit juice. It's definitely, it's got that hazy look. It smells like pesito. Yeah, <laughs> it does, actually. Wow. I bet you could buy a 10-pack of pesitos for the cost of this one can. What's Pro- pesito? It's like the passion fruit um, soda. Yeah. No, Kirk's Pesito, Kirk's the, Pesito. Yellow, yeah. the yellow one with the parrot. Mm. On uh, the, yeah, the, blue, okay. the, the it purple like, label. Is it like 85 cents a bottle? It's cheap as cheap, yeah. just cheap as chips, yeah. <laughs> I should be more Yeah. Um, <laughs> I still can't afford it. Anyway, <laughs> I thought um, I thought because Jack's never had a hazy before, I'd give him just, just a little bit of info about like what a hazy actually is. Um, and I got this off uh, the... Sort of, Sierra Nevada um, website. They're they're a a cool American craft brewery. Um, And they say, a hazy IPA, like the name implies, has a cloudy appearance, um, uh, one you you can't see through um, like like other styles of beer. Um, They also (laughs) go on to say, a hazy IPA is far more than its looks. Its foggy appearance hints at it at a fullness of flavor which it delivers. Um, so it's it's got a carefully chosen malt hops along with less filtering um, yields a beer with a lower bitterness um, than other IPAs, but it's it, it's more fruit forward in that um, fruit flavor. Um, and that's what gives it that sort of juicy flavor that people often refer to. Um, so you guys have had a little taste of this one. What do you think? It's okay. Jack, what do you reckon? It's really fruity. 
<laughs> it's 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 interesting. I need to have another taste. Yeah, Bill, Come what do back you to think? Me. It's pretty cool. I also really like Hazy's. Mm. Um, yeah, she's thick. Yeah, I think that is Dim's in this one. But yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's it's cool. I'm really digging it. Mm. I um, I'm a little. To be honest, are you whelmed? I'm a little little disappointed. Um, because oh, no. I don't know. I feel like I've really put hazy beers up on a pedestal. You did at the start of this <laughs> And I, um, like, I, I like hazies for that. I, like, cause I, I know some people don't like it, but I really like, I want to be drinking like fruit punch, like a fruit punch of a beer. Um, whereas this is a lot more mild. Um, if only we had another beer to compare it with, mm. like another hazy maybe. Mm. Dick, do you reckon you could help us out? <laughs> yeah, I could. What do you got with it? I brought us the Stone Never Ending Haze IPA. Now we're talking. It's a big uh, can. It is a big can. That is a big boy. These uh, blokes, they're out of, brewing out of America. They got two places in America they're brewing out of. They got... North and South. <laughs> pretty much. Um, <laughs> it was like... San Diego or something like that. <laughs> San Francisco, one of the two. San okay. Diego, so San then, Francisco. Oh, no, they're, they're not the two places. The other <laughs> place was way further away from the other one. Um, but they're also the ninth biggest brewery, uh, craft brewery in America, these dudes. Stone. They have okay. a lovely website if you want to go check it out. And did you? I did. I did. I got some facts, but my facts are far away from me. One of my favorite things, though, then one of their um, aromas was dank. <laughs> so Unreal. now we're talking Jack why don't um, you pass that to Billy so he can pour some out um, and Jack Jack can also do the, the good old sniff test for us and let oh, us know my, which smells better my Gundam notebook one second Will do you know how much one stone weighs one wow. stone yeah one stone is it like uh, three kilos no it's 6.35029318 kilos well, thanks, thanks for that, Dick. That's how much one stone weighs. Because I typed in stone and then it came up with how much does it weigh? So I was like, better write that down. Billy, <laughs> Billy do you think you could pour those this, beers anywhere? This beer is also for our vegan viewers. Vegan. <laughs> so Whoa. don't feel bad eating, drinking down on this one. This beer, this brewery is also same age as yourself, Truly, and Jack. 26 years old. This brewer. Cool. I also got some stuff. That's a good my- fact. Stuff on my phone here as well. You've got facts well, Deck, while you're getting some more facts, um, this is closer to that. Um, Billy, what the I, fuck I, did I, you I do? Fucked it up. I'm so sorry. Um, um, sorry, Nine Fest Brewer in America, but I didn't pour your beer with much grace. Um, hey, it got fizz. Yeah, it and yeah. I like fizz. This That's is um, a lot better. this is definitely this is closer to that that fruitiness I was talking about. It's not super fruity. But com- compared to the um, the two bays, it is definitely higher on, on the well, fruit scale. As you say that, William, the palate says mild body with mild body, mild body palate, thick and tangy tartness. On a, on the finish, its palate is clear and refreshing. Hmm? Yeah, so, well, that, you get that. I think it is tangy. Yeah, I think it has got that tang fruit to it. It's like, yeah, I think... That's the best kind of word I can describe. That's going to be fun to try and clip out. I feel like this should be also be colder. Yeah, probably. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, like I said before, this is... It's closer to that haziness I'm going for, but I, I like I, I like a real sort of like fruity, heavy, um, hazy beer. Um, There's just no pleasing you. Well, there is. It's fruitier. That's that, okay. that, well, so we get um, like we get beer. like a cruiser mixed with a beer. Yeah, it essentially. Be a whatever it is, isn't it? Yeah. Sacrilege. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, Maybe. Uh, on the back of the can here, they said there's a lot of never endings about IPAs and stone. Beginning with the stone IPA, um, one of the very That's first cool. most popular West Coast styles of IPAs on the planet. Uh, to our celebrated exploration of double IPAs, session IPAs, fruited IPAs, and ultra fresh triple IPAs, there is an it, there's an integral part of our legacy. Plus, there's an oft said but not actually true comment from some that say all Stone does is pay always. Ha! Yes, we may love them passionately 
and uh, perpetually be on the quest for IPA Nevada. But this particular one actually happened onto the scene to aid in your noble pursuit of the never-ending good times. Actually, another thing, this guy just... This brewery started off as two guys, which is most stories of every brewery. Mm. Starts off with two dudes. Yeah, a and then couple each, of guys. And then each year you go through on the website, it tells you how many members they've added to the crew. And it goes like three, eight, and it's like it's bigger and bigger and bigger. And now they're just a massive company. Mm. After pretty... this review, they're going to go back down. Yeah, <laughs> drop right <laughs> back just down. Be two of them. Yeah. Just two bros being bros. Beer bros. Beer bros Beer, they're going to fly all the way to Tasmania to just get our number. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, what do you think? Have you... I I think I definitely prefer. I think I prefer the um, the the Stone Neverending Haze IPA to yeah. the Two Bays. So, like we did last week, we'll, we came up randomly on the spot about if you're given two six packs. <laughs> this is this is worse than normal. <laughs> Which oh, definitely. Would you choose? Yeah. Um, I Terrible think rating. if I had to grab a six pack, I would probably go the Neverending Haze. But again. I don't. I don't think this is the best representation of. Um, but it's hazy. a cool. It's a cool can. It's definitely a cool can. Like it's Actually, definitely a cool can. They have some cooler cans as well. So. So it's not even the best representation of their cans. <laughs> nah, I don't. I just turned around literally when you said, "Hey, Declan, get a hazy." I mean, get a hazy beer. I'm like, I'm like, I could get the the bolters or whatever. Well, I did. I didn't yeah. say it like that. I sent you yeah. a message. And I, I'm like, oh yep, yeah. I could get a four pack of these. And I turned around like, oh, they look colourful. I'll get these ones. Mm. But yeah, I I think that this isn't the best representation of hazy, but it's definitely fruitier than um, the stargaze. So if I had to pick one, I would probably go for the stone. Um, what about you, Billy? Yeah, ditto. You know, I actually I actually do like this one. I think it is. I think it is. I don't want to say definitely, but it is better. <laughs> I think I think it's just it's fruitier. Yeah, mm. we're just sitting here with like. Well, I guess I like it, but you guys hate it. It's so. a joke. It's fun. It yeah. Tartness. Yeah. Like the crazy tartness. Mm. Like that. Uh, the, the two bays. I just feel bad because it's like Jack can't even like get on. Like he can't be like. Yeah, yeah I agree. But we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, talk about we'll, get Jack, okay? we'll get to Jack. Okay, we'll get to Jack. Declan, what about you? What do you think? Um. Oh, did you buy another can? I bought two. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. Stingy old Declan came through with two. I'm so impressed. You did tell me they were on sale, Dick. <laughs> no, they weren't. They bought, I bought these at full price. Thank you very much. Oh, Don't even have a... such a good boy. ...certain beer... I mean, a certain distributor of alcohols card to get it off price. So. Anyway... Yeah, I'm, De- I'm, so pr- I'm so proud of you, Declan. Any- Come on, everybody. Come on. Thank you. Anyway, Dick, um, which of, if you had, had to pick a six-pack of one of these to drink, which one would you grab? Uh, I'm going to go the one I got. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, so, non-gluten boys. I think um, I think <sighs> that the, the two bays had a good crack. I think they, they tried, but they probably just missed the mark with the, the fruitiness. I don't think this is different enough from their regular pale ale. Like, there's, there is a bit of a... There's a there's a difference, but I feel like it's not that like strong fruity flavor you get from a hazy. But um, who cares what I think? Um, because I can I can drink whatever beer I want. We're, <laughs> we're going. Way to rub it in. We're going. We're going over to Jack. Jack. Mm. Now that you've tried, um, you've tried your old favorite um, type of beer. Two base pale ale, beautiful. Exactly. And now you've had two new types of beer um which one do you think um was the best i i would just be so happy if i could try the rest of the beers to compare them because Mm. it's really hard sitting in the in the back seat in my head it wasn't this mean yeah Yeah. (laughs) i feel like it's it's just like hey jack we're having a really good time over here you just enjoy the shit really brings it back to primary school lunches (laughs) it's like "Mm, everyone else has yummy sandwiches and i've just got some rice crackers (sighs) and that's it but it's I, it's just hard to compare it's hard to compare um i've never had a hazy beer a hazy beer sorry before mm. so i'm not i'm not sure what to expect um what i agree with what you said before they do the pale ale and the hazy do taste very similar mm. you can definitely taste like the the fruit in in the mm. stargaze hazy yeah, yeah. pineapple yeah. Smacks you after your, on your palate. So, but 
it, they are very similar. Mm. Yeah. As someone, so that's that's your first experience of a hazy. What do you think of that type of beer? What do you think of the more fruity flavor? I think it would be fantastic. Yeah, mm. it it's uh, it's kind of just like I'm not. I normally drink ciders, mm. as you guys know, and it's a good combination of. You know the taste of beer and the taste of cider mm. kind of put together. Yeah, that from have from been my the apple beer episode. Ah, oh, that would have been unreal. But yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's it's the best uh, the best that I could come up with as a comparison. Mm. And I'm sure if there was another hazy gluten free beer out there, I'd be excited to try mm. it. Yeah. So out of out of these three beers, Jack, we've 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 tried to mm. start with your old favourite. They're two bays pale ale. Mm. But none of those are in shot, Billy. <laughs> I'm doing this for Jack. Um, <laughs> if I if I if I had three six packs sitting in front of me, yeah. one was the hazy, one was the IPA. No, sorry, the pale ale, sorry. And Jeez. one was the draft. I would be picking up the six pack of pale ale. That's yeah. for sure. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm I'm really glad we did this exercise. So um Jack can keep drinking the, the beer you like before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like Two Bays are doing a really good job. Two Bays yeah. have some sick beers, and yeah. they're, they're all fantastic. Yeah, Big definitely. props. Not I know, sponsored. I think yeah. um, it, it is interesting uh, stacking them up against each other like this. I think that it's uh, it's a really interesting way to do it. I think with um, with your Two Bays, probably one of one of the through lines is it's definitely a more it's a milder flavor mm. um when you when it's up against um the, the gluten filled beer but i think that that's not always a bad thing i think that mm. for for each of the beers um there was something about it that we preferred than the the gluten filled counterpart um and that's how i'm going to refer to all beers now as gluten filled um, because, <laughs> because, because I'm inclusive. <laughs> yeah, this is this has been really fun. Um, and legitimately, Jack, in my head, it wasn't as mean when I planned it out. Um, but uh, it's been so fun to have you here. Maybe um, um we should have a sugar field episode, Billy. Yeah. We just let we'll yeah, sit. We'll, yeah. Sit back and not have the sugar. Yeah. yeah. About that. You can have the sugar yeah, for how's that cruises. Feel? Yeah. Yeah. Sugar, yeah we. we oh, we, oh, that's a good oh, idea. <laughs> it is. It's just sugar, like you got the sugar that's like. Isn't there like a like an artificial like stevia? Or yeah, like yeah. stevia sweetener. Yeah, you have stevia. We have the real sugar. You try and make fair plus stevia. <laughs> 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 like this That's like such a specific example of how to use sugar. <laughs> anyway, mm. I was trying to wrap up, boys. Um, this this has been a lot of fun. I think. Um, well, it's been a lot of fun for me. Um, I've got to try lots of different beers. Yeah, I think Jack mentioned it, but we're not we're not sponsored by Two Bays. But I definitely think of I've tried a couple gluten free beers, um, and the Two Bays is definitely the best one I have had. Um, if you want, if you want an actual really good insight into Two Bays himself, um, there's an episode of the Beer Pioneer um, with Matt Stewart. That um, is that they they visit um, the Two Bays um, Brewery um, in Victoria, um, and yeah, it, it's a it's a really good episode. You get to meet the founder and all that sort of stuff. So it's... we are sponsored. No, no we're not. <laughs> we're nowhere on their level. Yeah, um, but no, I like th- this has been a lot of fun. I think you guys. Yeah, it's fun. been a lot of fun. Yeah. absolutely. We drink beer. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, and no one can take that away from us. Um, if you have liked this episode and you want to see something similar, why don't you send us an email? Um, if you want to get in touch, you can email us at beerbabiespod at gmail.com. It's good. I'm not going to be able to... Um, uh, yep. Um, yeah, and tell us what your favorite beer is, or if you've got a, a suggestion of like a weird comparison style thing we can do. Those are all, those are actually always mm. really fun um, to put a few different things up against each other. But um, Jack, I definitely... I do not think this is the end of our gluten-free journey. Um, because t- like uh, we we got three of two bays beers. They've got they've actually got um, a bunch more. Mm. Um, but I, th- I I tried to pick the ones I thought um, we'd probably like the most. Uh, there was a red ale that I purposefully Ooh. avoided. <laughs> <laughs> I got the draft because it was new and it was exciting. You know exactly. Get a bit of buzz. Mm. We want um, that um you know like people are. On the market, you know, they're looking yeah, for exactly. this. Yeah. Sure. They That's want to it. know about it. Draft drinkers wouldn't watch a podcast about beer. No, nah, they'd be like, oh, <laughs> right, I'm <laughs> Anyway. Draft drinkers. Anyway, Jack, 
When we, Unreal. we we are going to get some more gluten-free beers, Jack. Mm. We are going to eat you back on the podcast. Thank you so much for coming on. You have been an absolute sport. Thank you very much for having me. It's been fantastic. And keep, stay tuned <laughs> yep. for, the, for the next uh, That's it. gluten-free extravaganza. That's it. Keep the faith, everybody. We will be back, and we'll be back better than ever. Bill, thanks for jumping on. Ciao. Thank you very much for your insightful input, Declan. No problem. Uh, it's a bye from me. See ya. Did you just say goodbye to Jack? I did. I started with Jack. Jack's gone. See ya. See ya.